so hello back everyone to my new video today we are going to see how you can implement a walking system without any character controller or any rigid body and how you can control the characters just using the animated animation system in unity i hope this video will be very helpful and uh, easy to understand and uh, so today we are going to see how you can create this movement as you see i press s it moves backward and left right and it will easily blend as you can see it's easily blending also backward left backward right it can easily blend as you can see here so we are going to see how we are going to create this system without using any character controller or rigid body and by just using the animation system and uh, these videos have been late due to my exams and uh, I will try to post them more frequently after my exams are over so let's get started and not waste much time first of all we need to get the models and the animations from a website known as maximo just type maximo.com in your browser and go there and uh, you can choose any character you want from the characters tab present right here as you can see you can just select the character and then go to the animations part then type pack here okay as I have already typed it here PSEK and then you can select whatever animation pack you want and there is a locomotion pack as you can see this one then just click on it and then you will get all the animations here then click on download then FPX for unity and select T pose then frame rates 30 or 60 whatever you want and keyframe reduction to none and then press download a RAR file will be downloaded and you can extract it and bring it to unity so after bringing it to unity go to assets and wherever you have uh, dropped the file here after extraction click on it there will be a lot of files here i have deleted a few there will be a model file here as you can see this one just click on it and then go to rig then select humanoid and create from this model and then just press apply next uh, Pick up any animation you want, for example, I am taking up here idle animation. Click on it, go to rig, then select humanoid, copy from other avatar, and for the source, pick up the avatar which has been formed from your original model. Then go to animation part of that same animation, and then go to this part, select loop time to tick bake into whichever green is there just uh, tap it there okay whichever green is there loop bake in pose and select everything to original here original and rename it to whatever animation name you want i have renamed it to idle and then press apply same you do for the left strip as you can see i have typed the name here left ticked all the green ones and have run to original and then press apply same for the right strip same for the running and same for the walking and just one thing is important this rig part is important just select humanoid copy from other avatars and source as the avatar which has been created from your original model and then do it as i've told you so after getting all the animations right do right click create and then select animator controller you will get, get this animator controller here double click it open it as you, you will get this screen here and then just drag your adder animation as your base animation or just leave it do right click create straight from new blend tree okay from new blend tree double click it and in your parameter section do plus and float two times and name it x and y okay then tick the uh, click the blend tree and then 2d free from directional okay 2d free from directional we have to select it first parameter is x second parameter is y value okay this will take the keyboard value of horizontal axis and keyboard value of uh, a vertical axis for y okay click plus add motion field two three times to add the other motions and then just uh, bring your back animation here backward walking idle left movement uh, right movement uh, 
and uh, walking forward animations here so if we are idle there will be no input so x positions value and y positions value input for uh, axis will be zero if you are walking left x position should be minus one and y position should be zero if you are walking right x position should be one and y position should be zero if you are walking front it's a uh, x position should be zero and y position should be one and if you are walking backward its x position should be zero and y position should be minus one so it's just like uh, forward backward left and right for left minus one right plus one in x axis for forward one backward minus one in y axis so if you will see as i have got it here wait once a sec huh if i just uh, do the play animations here if i just increase the value of x to right part it will start going right and it will slowly blend it see it will then just go slowly to idle but let me slowly show you with big screen here see x value i'm changing see it's slowly blending it it's much more fluent and effective see right part for right left for left and for x see it's it slowly starts to walk if i do backward it will go to a back to idle and it will start walking backward and now if I go, I can go left, right, and I can easily blend it. So your character will be much more efficient and realistic looking. And it's a good way to just do your character controller with your animation. So we just need to control these things from our script. So let's make a script for character controller here. I am naming it character, okay? Open the script. So first of all we need a reference to our animator you can type animator and name it whatever you want i am naming it nm okay then you need to get the inputs from your horizontal axis and vertical axis of your keyboard i am doing int x for x axis input and you can type input dot get axis and inside this you have to do double quotes horizontal spelling should be exactly same otherwise you won't get the input and multiply it with the uh, speed the sp or just leave it there's no need to multiply it with speed and uh, just remember you need to do it in float because this will give you float value and the same thing for y just uh, instead of horizontal we have to name it vertical and now just we need to feed the values of x and y into the animators x and y component so you can set this by anim dot set float and uh, you can you have to name it exactly as uh, the name it was okay so mine was x and you have to pass the value of small x which is the input and do the same for y okay you can just do y and uh, small x okay. So, as you can see, this is done here. Just uh, check back your names are correct or not from here. Names should be exactly same. They are X and Y. Okay, this X and this Y. Uh, I have put it here. See this X and this small capital Y it will be. And uh, now just you need to make the animator public so you can set it from the inspector. And uh, just add it to your just drag and drop your character first into the scene from your this pack here as you go so this one just drag and drop it here i've already done it then uh, into your export just drag and drop your animator which we made this and tap apply root motion and uh, add the scripts also okay and drag and drop your animator into it and after this when you will press play see w will move your character forward s will move your character backward and see how well it is moving with the correct animations and you can easily blend it see see how well it is moving with the animations here 
so this is how you can make your character controllers this is just the basic part you can make your systems much more complex like for you can do a separate uh, you can add more animations for running with increased value of x and y you can add more animations for jumping climbing shooting etc so this uh, way of uh, creating characters is much good and efficient also so i hope this video was very helpful to understand and uh, to see how the animation system works in unity and these videos have been pretty late because my exams are near so that's why uh, there will be little bit delays but i will still try to post and uh, See you in another video. Have a great day. Bye.